Well, start of another day in the adventures of sculpting. Putting the battery in to my camera, which is a uh, Canon uh, SX30IS. It's a good camera. It's uh, very good quality video, and you can get these still. Um, I think I originally paid oh, a little over 400 bucks for it, but I think they're a lot cheaper now. But good camera to video yourself painting or sculpting. As you can see, this is my thing that I have my clay in, and it's just a a uh, dish pan that I've uh, converted into a clay pan. I cut the hole out of it so I'm not reaching over between the light and the clay and burning myself so I can reach in a lot easier from the side. Putting the mounting bracket on my camera, I took uh, a portable camera tripod, a small one, and took the top off of it and uh, mounted it on a piece of wood. Uh, near my sculpting stand where I can see what I'm doing here and since the uh, thing pops out I can actually aim it towards my sculpture and uh, zoom in and then I'm set up for uh, sculpting on camera all right a friend on uh, Facebook and I would show him a shot pouch that I was wearing in a photograph uh, put the photograph up here and uh, anyway I haven't got anything in the shot pouch anymore I cleaned it out a long time ago but a mountain man or a Native American would carry a shot pouch to uh, put uh, different things he would need or she would need to uh, shoot uh, their uh, weapons. This one has a beaver tooth on it uh, as a uh, kind of like a well just a decoration basically. Uh, they'd keep a shot, they'd keep uh, patches, oil, whatever else they needed to uh, take care of their, their weapons. I had this uh, powder horn made for me and uh, my mountain man name was Bear Bait. I'll show you the scrimshaw work on there. I got a local guy to uh, do that and this was back almost 30 years ago. So I don't know. Yeah. And then he personalized it for me. Uh, Master uh, David Lemon Bear Bait His Horn and there's a, a beaver paw print right there or bear bear print I mean not beaver well I just uh, put my uh, <clears throat> small uh, resin reference uh, next to this and it's exactly the same size, so I can take my measurements off my reference. But it'll be a good exercise in doing some anatomy. I haven't quite figured out what I'm going to do yet. But uh, this is from anatomytools.com. And uh, this is the uh, superficial muscle scale 1 uh, colon 6. I'm not one six, I guess. I'm not sure. Anyway, it's a beautifully detailed uh, little resin that uh, I got from Anatomy Tools. It wasn't very expensive, but it is handy, as uh, all these uh, little resins are from Anatomy Tools. By the way, I've been asked several times, who is this back here in the background? And that's a picture my mom, she was a nurse 
back in the uh, 40s, 50s, 60s, and uh, retired from it, I think, in the 70s. She passed away uh, in the 1990s, and uh, she was a beautiful lady, a wonderful mom, just, just a little over five foot tall. I'm just going to continue working on this and uh, stop my yakking.
can see, I've got it pretty well sketched in. Um, still more I have to do, but of course, but uh, there's enough of it sketched in. And now I've got something to hang whatever I want to hang on it. Clothes or whatever. As you noticed, I did not put every muscle on. I just uh, blocked in basically what I saw on the uh, small figure. Again, this is just a sketch for something I will be doing uh, as a demo in uh, Loveland, Colorado, the first part of next of uh, August. Just. Well, you guys have a good night, and uh, hopefully see you all tomorrow. I'm liking it. I'll work on the head tomorrow, probably. All right. Good night, everybody.